Hi, my loves. I figured I'd start sharing my personal stuff with you. Wouldn't that be amazing? <gasps> um, I've been uh, struggling with the month of February. Not gonna lie. I don't know how you guys feel. Um, I know this is supposed to be the month of the sacred pause. I know this is supposed to be like the, the month that we all go into hibernation. We go easy, we go within. I'm not able, I haven't been able to do that. I don't know how you guys are doing. Um, in, in this movie, uh, in this virtual reality movie, I feel like while my own resource has been drained, the outside world has really been pushing me to like go, go, go. And I wanted to talk to you about the martyr archetype. The martyr is very, very strong with me. So I have this tendency to want to help a lot of people uh, at the expense of my resource. Um, and I, I do that sometimes to a complete like disregard of, of me. Um, I can lose myself in helping others without like finding the Maria. And um, it's, it's, it's a problem. I've been, um, I've been really thinking a lot about this lately. My savior archetype and my martyr archetype both have been really, really strong um, this month. So I wanna share a quick story with you. About a month ago, we ended up putting up um, a little form on my website to gather um, applications from people or, you know, intent, to gather intent for people who wanna work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know why we did that. I don't know, we thought it was a great idea. Um, probably because Maria is a martyr and I wanted to help as many people as I can. And I still do, by the way. I don't think that's ever going away. <gasps> okay, so we did. And I've gotten hundreds of incoming requests. Um, all different complexity levels. Um, some people wanting a single session, some people wanting 10, some people wanting, uh, you know, um, the entire weekend, you know, one on one with me, like all kinds of things. And so I started kind of like, you know, picking the people with a, you know, that I have the highest resonance to and like booking those consultations. And um, it became really, really overwhelming very quickly because I felt like I was letting humanity down by not being able to, like my throughput wasn't high enough. So may or may not know this about me. I, I, I kind of have, you know, my nine to five, which is my, uh, my business that I, I started 10 years ago. I have a business that really eats up into most of what I do. Like, um, that's, you know, I have a job, so to say. And then on top of that, I feel like I have this spiritual community and people that are dependent on me for their, you know, spiritual insights and then the people who want to work with me personally. And um, the, the amount of hours I worked in the past, I don't know, two months has just been nuts because it's just been nonstop and, and my batteries at a, you know, one of my old time lows in my entire life. Like I, I feel like pretty drained. And I realized that it's my responsibility. Uh, it, it's my responsibility, the fact that I, you know, I put myself in a situation that would even enable my battery to go so low. And usually our behaviors are driven by my thoughts. And my thoughts are, okay, time is running out. I need to help as many people as I can. I'm, you know, I have this channel and because of that, I have a responsibility because like I see things in the Akashic record. So like, I must share that with humanity and all of that like savior complex. And then of course the martyr also makes me go, like it doesn't, it doesn't have the boundaries. Um, and yeah, bad combination. Savior meets martyr, bad freaking combo, you guys. Um, and so I started doing this, um, these consultations with people and they were going terrific. Like I was, you know, I was getting results for people in the same session. They loved it. You know, a lot of people were crying during the consultation. Like we, it was all the way. Like I had proof that I'm extremely good at this. And yet these consultations really started getting into my weekends because I have a lot of uh, listeners, a lot of um, people globally. And because of the time difference, um, I had to book a lot of people for the weekends because it needs to be daytime in America. Uh, for all of my European folks, for my, you know, um, for the folks in the Middle East, like just a lot of people have to be, um, you know, during the daytime in the US, which means that I can only do this during weekends. Um, Saturday is my day for like, the recharging and so I was booking people on Saturday first thing in the morning when I usually meditate and then Sunday is my day for writing my books um, sacred holy Sunday and I was booking people all throughout Sunday and I couldn't I could I didn't make any progress with my book and uh, was I effective 
you know, yes, like, did I feel like I was helping humanity to some degree? Um, Because I was always working, but I also felt like, you know, the amount of energy that I hold is like, it's pretty nuts. I have a lot of energy. Like, I mean, I'm pretty hyper right now and that's me being drained. So you guys, that tells you like how much energy I have. Um, And I feel like the amount of energy I have is like an ocean. And like when I work one-on-one with people, I love it, but it's like trying to put an ocean inside of like an espresso cup and it's like, I can't, no matter how much I try, I cannot fit an ocean inside of an espresso cup. And so I never personally feel fulfilled after doing these sessions. And so it's, it's kind of like worrisome. It was like a worrisome thing. Um, and so, yeah, I, that's how I got myself into like that completely drained mode because I had no weekends. I had no time off. I did not have time for my hobbies. I did not have time for self-care. Uh, all I had the time for was to help others. And... Oh God, Uh, I realized that that's just not gonna work for me. I need to start building boundaries, really strict boundaries. My weekends are my sacred things. I cannot have, you know, people consultations on on, on Saturday and Sundays because that takes away from my long-term vision and like what God really gave me the energy to do, which is impact a lot of people through my books, through my writing, through my speaking, um, and through building, uh, you know, kind of like businesses that would help um, and foster the awakening of humanity and all of these things take a lot of time and a lot of energy and my mother had to take a back seat and realize that there is a way to help humanity but it's not about working harder and doing as many consultations as is humanely possible and so I gave myself permission to prioritize and get out of my own way and my martyr relaxed a little bit. So I went to the level of my higher self and I actually had my higher self um, rank things for me, like rank the activities that I do in the order of their priority. Like tell me what is the most important thing that I'm doing for my mission and for my purpose. And they had, and my higher self ranked everything. And the last thing on that list was one-on-one consultations with people. Like literally after everything in the kitchen sink that I'm doing, the absolute last thing that I should be doing is one-on-one consultations. And when I realized that, I removed the... I removed the form from my website because I'm like, if I'm not meant to do this, I'm not meant to do this. And no matter how much of a martyr vibration I carry, some things just don't make sense. And that is why it's so draining for me because if I was meant to work with people one-on-one, I'd have an infinite amount amount of energy for that. And I would have an infinite amount of fulfillment from one-on-one consultations, but that's not where I am. And that's why I had to change. I had to change things. And I also have to trust spirit this was a good exercise uh, around me building boundaries and realizing that if I want to show up for you 100%, if I want to build the absolute most amazing, you know, circles and courses and experiences for you, I cannot also squander my energy around for the things that I'm not meant to do because then I only have 2% of me left when it's go time. And that does not serve anyone. And so as much as my martyr and my savior are kind of like poking me in the back saying like, Maria, I think you're failing. I think you're not helping enough people short term. I know that the long term is what matters. And this life is not a sprint, it's a marathon. I need to learn to optimize my resource. So if if you are a little bit of a martyr and if you've been putting yourself last, hopefully that also helps you and helps you reevaluate your own resource because you only have one of you. And getting to the drained state doesn't help anybody because if you're too drained, if your battery ever goes to zero, recouping that energy is going to take you six times longer than just maintaining and allowing yourself a little bits of rest. So as you're internalizing the sacred pause of February, prioritize yourself if you're like me. Also in the comments, let me know if this type of content resonates. Do you guys even want to hear my ramblings? Does it even resonate? Is it helpful? Because it's not, I don't have to do that. I can just channel cool things for you. So let me know in the comments how you're feeling. And also if you are feeling drained as well, because misery loves company. I love you and we're gonna get through this together. Bye, love.